riddle me this. I am a country who prides herself in the Big Five, and I have the second tallest mountain and the only mountain that has snow in Africa. I pride myself in producing the world champions athletes consecutively. Who am I? Regional Minister and an opinion for you now. Possessing the nation's agenda for any GD for a more Ghana, any Yasia for me now. Medinchia and Ebremo. Medama say, I want my pie one of my house at Pablo to the attorney to work in Zeno. Tonight promises to be entertaining and educated. Tonight, you can call me Jambi because I am from the Kikuyu tribe, but I represent the 42 tribes in this country. The name is still Safua on the TVT Reality app. You can download on Google Play Store or Apple App Store, or you can dial star 713 star 13 hash and follow the prompt to vote Safua. When I say Asante Sana, you respond Karibu Sana. Asante Sana, Hakuna Matata. Safwa is clothed by Organzi Eccentric with hair by Best and More Limited. Ladies well groomed by African American Beauty Academy. Inspiring beauty beyond borders. Accessories by Magdal Kutu. <laughs> Time is Thai time in Kenya. You are invited to my Thai. I welcome you to a multicultural, a multi-ethnic, rainbow nation. The land of Mizi Jumo Kanyata. I welcome you to a land who the man was an anti-colonial activist and a true pan-Africanist. He was never discouraged, even when he was imprisoned for fighting for the emancipation of his people. Even the footsteps of death could not deter him from fighting to gain independence for his country, Kenya. His legacy still lives on, just like Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, who also fought for his nation, Ghana, Ghana's first president. He gained independence for Ghana on 6th March 1957. I present to you the land of the first and only black president of the United States of America, Barack Obama. I present to you the land of world champions in athletics, both males and females. And I present to you the land of the big five, where you would see the lion, you would see the leopard, you would see the rhino, you would see the elephant. I present to you Kenya. Karibuni Kenya. Kenya yetu hakuna matata. You can call me Jambi because I am the queen of intelligence. Although we speak two official languages which are Swahili and English, but my country is multilingual and has a lot and diverse ethnic groups who speak different and beautiful languages. When we talk about the popular costume, traditional costume of my people, it is the Maasai costume which comes with a red kanga that is wrapped around us and also beautiful necklaces and bracelets which are very colorful and very very nice and then we move to the traditional food that is universally eaten in Kenya and that is my favorite food that is what we call the ugali ugali is made from white maize or maize flour and it goes with nyamachoma nyamachoma is roasted meat and we really love meat yes we know that and it goes also with sukuma wiki which is vegetables whenever you go to kenya tell everyone you see that jambi said i should try the ugali you will never regret it you will love it because it's a very palatable dish <laughs> we do not only prepare very palatable dishes but my country is one of the fastest growing economies in South Saharan Africa. And we are the largest producer of black tea and the producer of one of the best and high quality coffee. And when you go to Ghana, just like how you are always visited or 
you are always given a very nice chilled glass of water. Whenever you enter any Kenyan home, we serve you with very hot and nice tea. That is why you saw me enjoying my tea when I came here, so that I can be very comfortable to talk to you all about my country, Kenya. And when we move to the environment of Kenya, we are leading because we have banned the use of plastic bags, which has made the environment very, very eco-friendly. And Nairobi, which is our capital town, is one of the neatest cities you will meet in Africa. And <laughs> thank you, Nairobi is the only city in the whole world world that has a national park, a national park that when you go, you will meet very friendly animals who will mingle with you all day long. You know that we can never talk about Kenya without talking about and demonstrating our dance for you to see. My people, where are you? Let us show them our dance. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. So this is what we term as the Maasai dance. It is very popular and known all around Kenya. Not to say that that is the only dance we have. We have a lot of dances. But today I will teach you just the Maasai so that the next time, which is next week when you come, I will teach you the other dances. I hope you are enjoying yourself. <laughs> Maasai dance and it normally goes with the jump contest where the males only do it because they do that to demonstrate their strength and to attract their bride whilst we the female just move our shoulders intermittently with our heads to display our beats and our beautiful dresses. Not only that, our flag also identifies us and also is very symbolic with the black that you see depicts and shows our beautiful color as Africans. And with the white, which also shows peace. And then we move to the red, which also signifies our, the blood that our forefathers shed during the struggle for war. And then the green, which is the rich vegetation that we have. Despite all our geographical locations as Africans, we aren't too different, are we? Because there are a lot of things that we have in common. Though some people migrated from different, different places, just like how the gas migrated from Nigeria, how some Eves migrated from Benin, how some Akans, all in Ghana, also migrated from the Sahel regions of Africa. We have happened to stay in different, different places in Africa. That shows that we are interwoven. And indeed, we are one Africa. After everything, let me tell you that we Kenyans are very, very beautiful, as you can see me. We are intelligent and we are proud of our culture and above all, very hospitable. You can join me as we drink our hot tea before it gets cold. Thank you, Asante Sana. Safua representing the Ashanti region and tonight she took us to Kenya. Jibori Kweku Dosu, what are your thoughts on Safua's performance? Hello, Safua. Hi, Auntie. I believe that when it comes to representing Africa, one of the key things we like to see are, you know, food, culture, um, dance, language, and history. You know, the lifestyle. I saw that you put some elements of tea, some clothing, but it was, I expected something more, some, something with imagery. So, for example, the flag was behind you. I expected interspersions of, you know, activity. I saw the dance. I saw the elements of tea. I know Kenya quite well uh, because um, I have some, you know, connection there. So there were a lot of things that I expected to see to, in, to be integrated, and I expected more interaction from you. We got a lot of um, intellectual uh, discourse, meaning you said a lot, but I wanted to see more because it's when we talk about integration, you would really, I wanted to see a lot more. And I think I had a higher expectation 
of what to see about Africa. All the same, you were able to share and give good content about the country itself. So thank you for that. Thank you. All right, now let me move to Aman Ziba and find out what he thinks about Southwest performance. I am not uh, fortunate enough to have lived in Kenya. I passed through the airport, Jomo Kenyatta's airport, so I definitely wouldn't have a real feel of Kenya, but I'm telling you that you swept me off my feet because I don't know much about it. Yeah? So, hey, kudos, and I think that you really thrilled me. Thanks. Amanziba says he was thrilled. Well, if you were at home, you were thrilled as well. And Safwa was your favorite. The short code is star 713, star 13, hash across all networks. And also you can download the TV3 reality app on Google Play Store and the App Store and vote in bulk for Safwa.